ganglion cysts and pressure on the motor branch of the median nerve. After passing through the carpal tunnel, the median nerve gives a branch on the radial side called the recurrent motor branch. This recurrent motor branch innervates the abductor pollicis brevis, the flexor pollicis brevis, superficial head, and the opponent's pollicis muscle. As you can see here from these illustrations and diagrams, this nerve has multiple variations. 50% are extra ligamentous with recurrent innervation. 30% are subligamentous with recurrent innervation. 20% are transligamentous with recurrent innervation. So when you release the carpal tunnel, it is important to cut the transverse carpal ligament far ulnarly to avoid cutting the recurrent motor branch of the median nerve. And these are the patients that will get motor symptoms after you do carpal tunnel release. There is another entity similar to this entity. And these are the patients that have symptoms similar to carpal tunnel syndrome, but their presentation is not classic. And these are the patients that you may need to get an MRI or ultrasound to check the carpal tunnel area. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a clinical diagnosis. The patient will have night pain and the self-administered hand diagram, which is the most specific test for carpal tunnel, would show the area of involvement, as you can see here in this diagram. You may have thinner atrophy, and the compression test probably will be positive. You can see the Tinel sign. You can do the Fallon test or the Sims Weinstein test. Some people believe that AMG doesn't really increase the diagnostic value of these tests if you have combination of these tests and you will proceed with surgery even if the AMG is normal. The problem you'll find a group of patients that have weakness and atrophy of the thumb muscles and their provocative and sensory tests for carpal tunnel syndrome are negative. This is the patient that you're going to get an MRI to rule out pressure on the motor branch of the median nerve. And these are the people that you probably will find a ganglion cyst pressuring the motor branch of the median nerve.